Hello guys. Hello guys, hopefully you can hear me, you can uh, see me clearly. I'm gonna just check whether everything is working fine. I'm gonna wait for some feedback from you guys. I'm gonna check on the, the group messages. I'm gonna check online to know whether the volume is coming fine, the rest of it. Hopefully things are uh, completely fine. And if they are, then we can start uh, taking the class. Fine. So, so do do tell me if the audio is, is clear, if everything is fine with the audio. Uh, if if that is good, then we are good to go. Then we can jump in and start handling the handling the class. And so, uh, I'm going to wait for about two minutes to know if the audio plays well, whether the audio is coming out fine, whether the, the volume is clear. So do send me your thought, do send in comments saying the audio is fine. If the audio is fine, then we'll jump in and uh, find so. All good, so this a um, bunch of people saying everything is good to go. So I'm, I'm glad for that. Uh, remember that I'm working with about a, I think it's a 90 second uh, delay. So it's a gap between this and that, so people are anxious. Fine. We will start in a couple of minutes. So uh, just a reminder, there's a lovely, lovely scholarship exam that's on right now. It's a mini mock, it's about one third of a mock. So if you have the, bandwidth to definitely take that it's available for a, a day and a half two day window so take that so that you get an experience of of cat something like cat so that you can um, you can see uh, how the how the exam is and how you can uh, you can you can take a mini cat in about an hour and it'll be a wonderful, wonderful thing to set with them. Fine. super guys i'm going to jump in we're going to do i'm going to share my screen and discuss uh, dilr three wonderful sets but um, to be very honest i saw these three sets and i felt miserable because um, uh, I did miss out on one of those in from my slot and so sitter and I didn't even see it in the exam. So damn, I should have uh, scanned the paper better and selected the better questions which I missed out on. So you be careful about question selection. Yeah. The other two were also simple. So we're going to do three lovely, easy, uh, nice, pleasant, simple sets. Fine. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in to, I'm going to make myself uh, smaller. Oops. Uh, yeah, that is good. Then we'll go to display capture. Wonderful. I'm gonna uh, keep the screen open. I'm gonna have a chat. I'm gonna get some feedback. I'm gonna see if uh, everything is working fine with the display capture setting. Once again, ping in and see from the rest of the team whether things are fine. And, and if they are, I'm gonna wait for another minute, minute and a half. In the meanwhile, do read this question. This question is available on, on, on the website. This has actually happened in CAT. So this this is widely available. Do check out that question. Read that question, try that out. I'm gonna give you about a minute, minute and a half to at least take this question in before jumping in to solve it. And so have a run, have a read. About two minutes to read this slide and about a minute and a half to read the next slide. Then we'll worry about solving this. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for some feedback from the team saying that uh, the, 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 the system is wi working fine and audio is fine, the screen is shared fine and the rest of it. And I've got that, wonderful. So someone from our 2 im team seems to have pinged me and said, look, things are fine, go ahead and teach. Wonderful, fine. So a minute, I'm gonna set this up. This is some reason the, uh, the fan and AC settings are miserable. They have a lot of power shortage and voltage shortage issues. Anyway. Once you start, once you start teaching, once you start the class, none of this will matter. Okay. Princess, Queen, Rani, and Samragni were four finalists in a dance competition. I like these questions. Where it is P, Q, R, and S. Okay. Ashman, Badal, Gagan, and Dew. Why could it not have been some Chatterjee and Dew? A, B, C, D works brilliantly. A, B, G, and D were four music composers who individually it assigned items to the dancers. They could have called it pieces. With dancers calling it items seems weird. Uh, each dancer had to individually perform in two dance items assigned by the uh, different composers. The first items performed by the four dancers were all assigned by different music composers. So we are having to have a one-to-one -one match between PQRS and ABGD for the first four. No dancer performed her second item before the first performance of the first item by any of the other dancers. Super. So PQRS are going to appear in some order and then they're going to appear again. The dancers perform their second items in the same sequence of their performance of their first item. So the first four were PQRS, the next four is also PQRS. Right? A, B, G, and D are allotted to different of these PQRS in the first four. We've not been told much about the second four. Right? 
Wonderful. Let's jump to the other constraints. The following additional facts are known. No composer who assigned item to princess assigned any item to queen. P and Q were not done by the same composer. No composer who assigned item to Rani assigned any item to Samragni. R and S don't have the same composer ever, either in the first cycle or in the second or across two cycles. The first performance was by princess. This item was assigned by Bada. Oh, brilliant. Very simple. I like all these starting steps which give us something to go with. We start with P and that is linked to B. This is the first one. The last one was by Rani, an item assigned by Gagan. So the eighth one, Rani, Gagan. Straight away, we know the fifth one has to be P. The fourth one has to be R. So the same sequence is maintained. So if it is PSQR, it is PSQR. If it is PQSR, it is PQSR. If one and eight are given, we already know five and four. The items assigned by Ashman were performed consecutively. The number of performances between items assigned by each of the remaining composers was the same. Brilliant. Uh, items assigned by Ashman, Ashman were performed consecutively. So there's Ashman definitely in the first four. There's Ashman definitely in the last four. Were there two by him. The number of performances between items assigned by each of the remaining composers was the same. That means each of the remaining has also done at least two. Each of the remaining composers. Ashman has done at least two, at least two, at least two, at least two. Or each of them has assigned two performances each. Right? Brilliant. I think we are pretty much through. Right? So what do we know straight away? We know this is P. This is B. We know this is R. This is G. If 1 is P, then 5 is P. If 8 is R, then 4 is R. So far, so good. Fine. So this is R, this is P. Ashman were performed consecutively. So this is A, this is A. Brilliant. I think we're pretty much through. I think we'll get one wonderful grid. Fine. Now think about this. The number of performances between items assigned by each of the remaining composers was the same. So B has assigned one more item. These two are G and D in some order. B has assigned one more item. That could have been here or here. G would have assigned one more item. That could have been here and here. The number of performances between items assigned by each of the remaining composers was the same. In other words, whatever order this appears in, the same order comes here as well. Between B, G and D. If B is here, then B has to be here. If G is here, G has to be here. D in the middle, D in the middle. With this, we're pretty much through. B, D, G, A, A, B, D, G is the list of composers. Now let's think about the, of, about the dancers. We need to have Q and S sitting here somewhere and Q and S sitting here somewhere. Same order, mind you. Right, so now let's see what other constraint falls in place. No composer who assigned item to princess assigned any item to queen. Princess was done by B. B did not compose for queen. So opposite this B, this shouldn't be queen. I mean, this should be queen. This should be Samragni. Should be Samragni. Should be queen. We don't even need this constraint. Superfluous. We've got the entire grid. PSQR, PSQR, BDGA, ABDG. And so now that we've got the whole grid, it's a, it's a complete walk. And so in these questions, uh, be careful to read the constraints. Be careful. The simple rules of thumb work. Start with constraints that give you data to fill. These two. Don't work with these two in mind with many possibilities. This gives you something to fill. Start with that. Then this one and this one completely fill the kit for us. Once you put two A's here, we know that B has to be met with the B here, D and D, G and G. Now let's go to the questions. We've completely filled the entire sequence. Which of the following is true? The third performance was composed by Ashman. Ashman did four and five. The second was composed by Dew. That is true. Second was composed by Gagan. No. Third was composed by Dew. No. And the choice B. B for Bombay. 
which of the following is false queen did not perform in any item composed by gagan queen did not perform any any item composed by gagan that is false queen has done something composed by gagan here so this one is false straight away rani did not perform let's verify the other three rani did not perform in any item composed by badal rani with a rani with g this is true samragni did not perform in an any item composed by ashman ashman is composed for rani and princess this is also true princess did not perform in any item composed by dew princess is badal and ashman this is also true so the first one is false choice a the sixth performance was composed by sixth one composed by b badal the which pair of performances were composed by the same composer third and seventh third and seventh g and d no first and seventh b and d no first and sixth b and b is the answer second and sixth d and b that's not the answer we can completely see why i felt miserable about having missed out on this in the exam if you write down the right constraints if you start from the simplest one go methodically is a piece of cake and nobody can say this one was impossibly tough and so there were two wonderful sets in in, in slot 1 one. one with the uh, with the five different vendors and median and, and uh, rating and how many in first how many in second how many in third that one where you needed nothing but a lot of patience and uh, and diligence and this one so you could have walked into the exam and said i'm going to spend 10 minutes picking two sets attempted these two sets at a half an hour mark you would have got eight in the bag and then one or one more you go to 90th percentile two more you're looking at 99th percentile and so uh, plan your exam well there are going there are bound to be some sets which are very doable keep your eye open for that try this once again give it a read we'll discuss this once again i'm going to check whether everything is fine Sorry guys, don't worry. I didn't step out. I just want to give you guys some time to check out this question. This is a tougher question than what you have seen before, but it's also very much doable. And so, in the table below, the check marks indicate all languages spoken by five people: Paula, Quentin, Robert, Sally, and Terence. So P Q R S T. I like that. Right? The languages are also A B C D E F: Arabic, Basque, Chinese, Dutch, English, and French. Right? So. A B C D E and F. Paula speaks two of these. Quentin speaks two. Robert speaks two. Sally speaks two, and Terence speaks two. Wonderful, right? These five people form three teams: T one, T two, and T three. Each team has either two or three members, and they definitely overlap across the team. A team is said to speak a particular language if at least one of its members speaks that language. The following facts are known: Each team speaks exactly four languages. and has the same number of members is very useful i'm thinking this will be very useful exactly four languages english and chinese are spoken by all three teams basque and french by exactly two teams and the other languages so that is 
Arabic A B C and Dutch by exactly one team none of the teams include both Quentin and Robert Paula and Sally are together in exactly two teams Robert is in team 1 and Quentin is in team 3 as ever the last constraint gives us the best information so i'm going to start with that but i think this is going to be a fun set and so the three teams we don't know how many members are there in each team but we know it's the same number of members each team speaks four languages exactly four right team 1 team 2 team 3 robert is in team 1 quentin is in team 3 all three teams speak english and chinese english and chinese english and chinese right wonderful robert speaks arabic so team 1 will speak arabic nobody else speaks arabic and arabic is spoken by only one team so r is present in only one team r is there in team 1 nowhere else can he be there like as quentin speaks dutch touch sits here quentin can be there in no other team none of the teams include both quentin and robert this is superfluous we don't even need that right so we put r in team 1 and q in team 3 we've also figured out the languages right so english chinese robert speaks arabic and french arabic and french will sit here english chinese and dutch will sit here brilliant now in arabic sits here dutch sits here that means arabic and dutch have been accounted for each of them appears in only one team right so think about team 2 which four languages should be spoken here arabic and dutch cannot be spoken here so there'll be english chinese french and basque right so which other teams can r and q be a part of no other team r speaks arabic only one team speaks arabic q speaks dutch only one team speaks dutch right so so no, no they cannot be part of any other team which language are spoken by team 2 english chinese french and basque right so so r and q cannot be there in this team and super now let's think about this english chinese and dutch are spoken here what should be the fourth language here so team 2 we know english chinese french and basque four languages team 3 as english chinese and dutch dutch and arabic can be present in only one french and basque are present in two this is french and this is french the basque here this should be basque Q brings in Dutch and English. We still need to bring in Chinese and Basque. Wonderful. So, Team Three speaks Basque also. Team Two should definitely include. So, let's think about this. Team Two speaks English, Chinese, French, Basque. Only one person speaks Basque. that is sally so sally should definitely sit here and team 3 also speaks basque so sally should sit here also wonderful now let's recap let's start with team 2 team 2 we have already accounted for dutch and english and sally speaks basque and english we still need to bring in chinese Right. Chinese can come from either Paula or Terence, but Terence will bring with him French also. So not Terence, only Paula. This is done. Terence cannot be here. Robert cannot be here. So there are three people in Team Three, and only three can be there. So there are only three person per team. Super. Now let's look at Team Two. Team Two includes Sally. Sally brings with her. basque and english so we need to have chinese and french chinese can come from paula or terence french can come from robert or terence 
but it cannot come from robert because robert will bring arabic also so it has to be terence so terence sits here team 2 has terence and sally sally brings basque and english terence brings chinese and french and so snt will be there snt account for all four languages we need a third person but we don't uh, we need to have a third person on the team but the third person need not bring a new language should not bring a new language should be bringing something out some two out of english chinese french and basque so far so good so let's let's focus on the paula and sally are together in exactly two teams what does this give us and so we still need paula and sally so this one has sally so as paula and sally let's see what paula and sally bring us together paula and sally paula brings chinese and english sally brings basque and english so basque chinese and english so basque has sense so this one cannot have snp so this will have p and s so team 2 has to have p teams 2 and 3 have p and s brilliant now we've got team 2 and 3 completely done there's nobody here let's focus all our attention on team 1 team 1 robert brings arabic and french arabic and french so we need to have english and chinese coming in and so it cannot english cannot come from q because q is not there q can be only in team 3 english cannot come from sally because sally will bring with her basque also therefore english has to come from paula english chinese arabic and french now there has to be a third member in team 1 the third member is not sally it not quentin because quentin will bring with him dutch and sally will bring with her basque we don't want either therefore it has to be terence terence bring with him chinese and french both are already here with this we are through so team 1 has rtp team 2 has stp team 3 has qps brilliant now let's go to the questions who among the following four is not a member of team 2 team 2 sala is in sally is in paula is in terence is in quentin is not a part of team 2 quentin can only be in one team that is team 3 who among the following four people is a part of exactly two teams exactly two teams r is there in only one team q is there in only one team Terence is there in two teams. Sally is there in two teams, and Paula is there in three teams. Three plus two plus two, seven plus one plus one, nine. That works. So the answer choice should be either Terence or Sally. Sally is there. Thankfully, Terence is not there. Answer choice is Sally. Who among the five people is a member of all teams? We just saw this. Paula is a member of all teams. This Paula sitting here, here, and here. apart from chinese and english which languages are spoken by team 1 chinese and english arabic and french that's the answer that is choice b lovely set very doable uh, the key here is to start with arabic and dutch spoken by only one each that gives us r and q and r and q can be nowhere else if we figure out that there are to be three members in a team this automatically writes itself as tp Because R and Q cannot be here, and so, and then you go step by step methodically. Once we crack the languages, stacking the teams is far simpler. And so, wonderful, wonderful set. Once again, very doable. And so, keep your wits with you. These kind of questions are very solvable. Let's go to the next one. I think we are rushing through this session. We might finish in record time. That's all right. We can always have a chat at the end of it about about D I L R and how do we plan, how do we prepare, and all the rest of it. to compare the rainfall data indian india meteorological department blah 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 read this i'm going to share this also read this take some time i'm going to 
not going to want to rush the reading part wonderful so far things seem to be fine there's nothing funny I'm just checking the youtube feed and our own group feed both are saying all good wonderful rainfall to compare the rainfall data indian meteorological department calculated the long period average lp of rainfall during the period june to august for each of the 16 states the figure given below shows the actual rainfall during june to august 2019 and the percentage deviations from lpa of respective states in 2018 each state along with its actual rainfall is presented in the figure so the 10 year thing is the lpa and 2019 data is what is the actual deviation with lpa is also measured are we going better or worse than long period average and so so wonderful chart want to spend some time on it we have put states here and so We have Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Mizoram, all of these states sitting there. The actual rainfall for each state is mentioned in numerical term, in millimeters, the June, July, August period. What is also given is deviation from LPA. So what this tells us, if you look at this data, uh, Rajasthan, which had 300 millimeters of rainfall, it got 15% more than its LPA. Arunachal, which has got 1000 mm rainfall has got 10% less than lpa meghalaya at 1750 has got 15% less than lpa right maharashtra which uh, with a rainfall of 1000 has got 30% more than lpa 1000 mm so what do we have here we've got actual rainfall we've got deviation vis a vis lpa which means we can find lpa don't sit and calculate all the lps for all these uh, states not required it may not be required so we've got the hang of this data and so we get actual rainfall we get the 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 amount which is uh, deviation vis a vis lpa that's all we need oh that's it we just straight away jumping on to questions if if a heavy monsoon state is defined as a state with actual rainfall from june to august of 900 mm or more then approximately what percentage of heavy monsoon states have a negative deviation from respective lps oh brilliant so 900 mm is here a negative deviation from respective lps we need to count what percentage have this first of all maharashtra is a heavy monsoon state so is sikkim so is mizoram arunachal kerala meghalaya goa all of these are heavy monsoon states so there's 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 out of these seven approximately what percentage have negative deviation these three have negative deviation which is arunachal kerala and meghalaya three out of seven as a percentage one out of seven is 14.28 three out of seven is 42.84 this comes closest right very simple question once you just have to look at the data scan the data and then we are through if a low monsoon state is defined as a state with actual rainfall from june to august of 2750 mm or lesser then what is the median deviation from lpa of low monsoon state 750 or lesser these ones we want the median deviation so i'm going to write this down in order and so so the highest deviation is gujarat then is karnataka then it's rajasthan then it's mp then it's assam assam slips into negative territory then west bengal jharkhand delhi manipur i'm just going from top to bottom gujarat has the maximum deviation at 
Karnataka comes next at 20%. Manipur has the minimum or the lowest or minus 60%. Right? What is the median deviation? Median is the middle term. Middle, we have already arranged this in descending order, mind you. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 states. Median is the middle term or the fifth state, Assam. Assam has the median deviation. Assam's deviation is minus 10%. This is the answer we are looking for. Last time we had 7 states as high monsoon, 9 as low monsoon. So between 750 and 1000, 750 and 900, there's nothing. Only 16 states totally considered. S nine of them have 750 millimeters or below. Seven have 900 millimeters or above. Of these nine, the middle state is Assam, which has a deviation of minus 10%. What is the average rainfall of all states that have actual rainfall of 600 millimeters or less in 2019 and have a negative deviation from LP? So we're looking, we can forget about this. Looking at negative deviation, 600 millimeters or less. So, so Assam will get counted 600. West Bengal will get counted 600. Jharkhand will get counted, counted 400. Delhi will get counted 300. Manipur will get counted 400. Only these five will get counted. The ones on top won't get counted. So the average is sum of all these by five. 400, 300, 400. 7, 11, 11 plus 6, 17 plus 6, 23, so it's 2300, 2300 divided by 5, which is 460 millimeters. Very simple, isolate whatever the states are based on the conditions given and then plonk it in, find the average way through. The LPA of a state for a year is defined as the average rainfall in the preceding 10 years. Yeah, this was defined. For example, LPA in 2018 is average rainfall from 2009 to 2018. LPA in 2019 is the average rainfall during 2010 to 2019. It is also observed that the actual rainfall in Gujarat in 2019 is 20% more than the rainfall in 2009. The LPA of Gujarat in 2019 is closest to. Brilliant. Fine. So there is some link. There is actual that is given in 2019 we can find LPA of 2009 to 18 from here that will give LPA in 2018 and that's what this question describes you go back to the starting point it says the the deviations from LPA of respective states in 2018 so the de deviation is vis-a-vis -vis LPA till 2018 you're calculating this year's based on long term average that cannot include this year so 10 years up to 2018 that will provide the lpa framework for 2019 so that we can find but the question is asking us for lpa of gujarat in 2019 right. brilliant so let's let's think about actual in 2019 and lpa in 2009 to 18 actual in 2019 is 600 millimeters that we know so 2019 is 600 millimeters now this is 25% more than LPA. And so 25% is one fourth. So five fourth of LPA is 600. This is LPA till 2018. So LPA till 2018 is 600 into four by five, which is 480. Brilliant. So 480 is the, is the is the LPA till 2018, the 10 years to 2018. It is also observed that the actual rainfall in 2019 is 20% more than the rainfall in 2009. Interesting. 2019, the rainfall is 600. So actual 2019 is 600. With this, we can find actual 2009. How do we find that? 2019 is 20% more than this or 1.2x is 600. 2009 rainfall is 500 millimeters. Brilliant. The LPA of Gujarat in 2019 is closest to this. Very interesting. And so think about this. 
LPEF 2018 to LPEF 2019. LPEF 2018 is average for 10 years. 2019 is also average for 10 years. But if you think about this, the difference between these two is from 2009 is included in LPA 2018 that is removed and 2019 data is added. Okay, so I'm going to reimagine this. I'm going to write this down. So 2009, 2010, 2011, all the way till 2017, 2018, 2019. Average of all of this is LPA 2018. Average of all of this is LPA 2019. LPA 2018 is 480. 2019 rainfall is 600 millimeters. 2009 rainfall is 500 millimeters. Now, the average change, how is it going to change? Because you're taking out 2009 data and adding in 2019 data. Instead of having 500 millimeters in the mix, you're adding, you're having 600 millimeters in the mix. So you're adding 100 millimeters to the total. But LPA is average, average over 10 years. So the total goes up by 100 millimeters. Average will go up by 10 millimeters. LPA till 2018 is 480. LPA in 2019 should be 490. The 10 year average to 2018 is 480. The 10 year average 2019 should be more than just by 10 millimeters. Why? Because the total is more by 100. Why? Because 2009 is 500 millimeters, 2019 is 600 millimeters. If you go from one grouping to another, you're kicking out 2009, bringing in 2019, or your total is up 100 millimeters. Total is up 100, or average is up 10, because you're talking about 10 units. 480 millimeters would have become 490 millimeters. Right. Wonderful guys, wonderful. With, with that, we are done with the discussions for this session. I always had a feeling that um, we might run through this a little quickly and it turns out so we have. And so doesn't matter, we still have time. We have um, uh, about 15, 20 minutes. I'm not gonna use all of that, uh, use up all of the time. I'm gonna shift to looking at the page have any questions queries we can always um, discuss that now would be a good time to have a chat about uh, dilr um, delightful set of questions uh, but very doable if you notice we, we started about five six minutes after uh, uh, 10 pm because we had to set everything right and we're having a conversation and, and, and chatting and uh, not doing pen and paper but marker and all that so and it's about 10 38 so in about 32 minutes of time with us talking and chatting and shooting the breeze and doing without being manic and frantic and really rushing through this we managed to complete three sets of DILR in about 31 32 minutes right so if you're able to keep pace with this and it seems meaningful it doesn't feel rushed then you can say in the exam context I will be able to do three of these the key thing there you cannot afford to get caught and fall into a trap in any one you have to select the good three sets. Right? So make sure that your question selection works well. You work aggressively on that. Right? Can you please explain question four again? Utkarsh is saying, I've removed the display things. I'm going to just talk about this. The average difference in 2009 to 18 to 10 to 19, the, the way the average will change is based on 2009 and 2019 only. The other nine terms are constant. Nine terms are constant. In the first average, 2009 is there. In the second average, 2019 is there. Okay. 2009 is removed and 2019 is added in. When you do that, the total goes up by 100 millimeters. Why? Because everything else is same. 2009 is 500 millimeters. 2019 is 600 millimeters. So your total goes up by 100 millimeters. You're averaging this out. It's over a 10 year period. If total goes up by 100, Average will go up by 100 by 10, which is 10 millimeters. So the average LPA was 480, LPA will become 490. Two years work X baby I am convert, should I take up or have a go at CAT 2020? Depends on what percentile you scored, how confident you are of uh, picking up the same score, uh, how anxious you are to do an MBA and what kind of job you have right now. So if you are in a very good job, 
then you shouldn't take up baby i am because if you're already getting getting paid 9 lakhs per annum 10 lakhs per annum two years from now you'll probably get paid 20% more than that and baby i am might not give you a big boost but if you are in a 2.2 lakh per annum job you get baby i am that could be a big step if you been consistently getting 99 percentile but on, on cat you got 94 then you should dump this and give it give it for one more time where should i practice from dilr this how many sets every day you should look to do uh, one to two per day the best sets are the cat sets when there are 8 into 2 16 into 3 48 sets from cat and another these, these are all available on our 2im website with detailed video solutions so so have a go at these at some point of time then you can you can the 2im set has more than 100 more than this in the classes and about uh, another 100 or so or maybe not 100 or so 50 or 60 in the test series apart from the mock series so it gives you an enormous question tab question range how many do i need to solve to get 99.5 percentile five sets all correct i know this because this is exactly what i did in the exam five sets 20 questions all correct you're good if you start from scratch is it possible to crack most definitely yes have lots of time you need 400 hours of good preparation from now till cat you can definitely squeeze in 400 hours especially with covid and lockdown and work from home and all that thrown in you can do that how to select best question so bharat has an extraordinarily good video on the 2im channel on precisely question selection in in cat do go through that you will get covered i always get confused with so many conditions and get lost that happens very frequently it happens to a lot of people when so sometimes in dilr we are already starting in a moment of uh, being rushed and frenzied and panicking so relax breathe well believe that you can crack it that plays a role right then start with the easiest thing to put put on paper there'll be one or two clear constraints work with that then go to the less third part get tons of practice you'll get better in solving most of that taking more time don't worry about time speed will come automatically don't worry about time right now fundas are good now how much practice you should do this much lots tons and tons and tons of practice fundas get cleared to get this fundament the basics right speed comes only with practice load on tons of practice you'll get speed will the competition for cat be higher than usual this year god knows so people either either are getting bored uh, stiff and get decaying with their lives and getting frustrated at home or they are saying look i'm going to use this time and prepare for cat and and crack it god knows what they are doing and so i don't think it's going to be materially different it's going to be 5 6% this way that way otherwise it's the same as every year um ip mat generally does not have questions of this type ip mat as if it has dilr at all then the questions are far simpler can you suggest me all sections one section two sections confused in that please so not able to understand that question jinaisha so i'm going to skip that one thanks a lot for your free youtube session to help me a lot you're welcome so we're going to we have a series plan throughout we're going to we'll, we'll definitely completely solve all quant all dilr all verbal of actual cat papers for sure then we'll probably shift to xat iift and all that so we will continue to do that 6 lakh per annum for 1.5 years work experience that's a good pay good job i hope you're in a good company should you uh, should i aim for iims below 12 to 15 aim for the top 5 top 6 this decision is something that you need to be worried about next april at least 10 months away if you get 99.6 you won't even have to worry about the decision why are you bothering with it right now i don't understand question in one go read again it's not rocket science take your time don't rush any chance of cat 2020 being posted due to go god knows I, uh, nobody can answer this question if you if you, if you the, the iim probably have not uh, discussed about putting out a press release for who is the convener and who is doing this how can anyone answer this question forget about it not we'll worry about the variables we need to worry about one year for preparation methodically build from first principles how to practice one section two section three sections in a day read for an hour every day apart from that you don't need much for prc uh, prepare more for quant in the beginning 
because quant gives you a certain level of comfort with dalr and quant is vast tack on dalr after a while for reading apart from reading you don't need to worry about brc you don't need to worry much about brc just read for an hour every day forget about brc happy on that front load quant and mix up with dalr parallelly after that important topics in dalr dalr is mixed even the three dalr that you have done so far you can't really categorize prepare with a lot of variety for dalr two questions of different types so that you get used to picking new templates but don't prepare standard templates too much one set in dalr get lots of practice get lots of practice it is very easy to go from one set to two sets you put your head down you get two sets right you're looking at 90th percentile that's enough after that anything else is bonus or should i prepare for ip mat again or cat 2021 try it ip mat again but you don't need to prepare everything do both why should you not try it ip mat contemplating leaving the job due to time constraint don't leave your job the economy is tough god knows how long covid is going to be unless you have an automatic way of paying yourself uh, or, or getting you have if you're well off and job simply doesn't matter unless you're in that place don't throw away your job a job is precious taking too many mistakes in vrc especially para jumpers don't worry para jumpers been designed to do mistakes it's going to be a tita question don't worry about error rate in para jumpers not worth it how many sets to practice every day mix it up each one has their own 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 style i would say one or two one set per day is a good average but i like working in chunks because that kind of builds my stamina so i'll say if i'm hitting dilr i know in the exam i have to aim to do five continuously so doing one every day that's not build my stamina so i'll say one every other day but one day i'm doing five in a row so the stamina building part comes from there so mix it up good practice material for quants to i am to i am as a mothership if you check out the question bank check out actual cat papers then buy the course and have a go which book should be referred the 2im material is awesome check out the 2im question bank and then go and buy because the question bank is free start from there a rough schedule and slight idea please ping us um, offline we'll send it across to you how does the 2im test jojo help students so 2im test jojo is a giant 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 database of questions categorized in two levels drill and cat level drill is to just practice simple ideas cat level is to push up and do uh questions of the cat level the name is obvious tons of questions in each with the detailed solutions for every single question and a beautiful analytics thing which basically says uh, where you stand in each topic so if you saying look i know the fundas now i need to do lot of questions and pick up my speed and and consolidate ideas then dojo is the place to be when should i leave a question set as early as possible if you can make a plan and dump early that's brilliant but if you spend 5 6 minutes and you're not going anywhere dump don't spend more than 6 minutes what is the safe amount of time to give for a set 5 6 minutes and you're not going anywhere you should dump but if you are going somewhere and it still takes you 12 13 14 15 16 minutes it's all right so if you get two sets that take 16 minutes two sets that take 10 minutes you're getting 20 marks even assuming the rest of the time gets wasted that's good enough to get 99 percentile or or there about so don't don't set the tar- targets at the modest level stuck around 145 to 115 marks that's a fantastic place to be stuck around people will give their right arm to be stuck around there keep taking marks keep tweaking keep filling your gaps build your intensity 145 150 now you are naturally gravitating towards 180 185 4 months from now see if you can amp it up to even beyond that forgetting the conditions in tst tons of practice tons of practice there is no substitute will you give cat this year also hoping to how to manage college and cat college and cat is the simplest job and cat is tough finally our college in any place is just you don't you are a college student and telling you say, telling are going i mean you're telling the world that you're busy you you you're making you're, something is wrong somewhere else college students in final year are the most vela people around so don't 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 kid yourself college in final year you have time how to get rid of fear of writing mocks write mocks write mocks don't worry about the score just say look i'm going to take a mock now i will get zero i'll get negative you know nobody you don't have to share your score nobody is worrying about what how what your performance is just take the mock everything else you can worry later on two lr in an hr that is fine i'm um, it will automatically go to three 
by the time you come to the exam. Don't worry. Four years experience in IT, shall I take CAT? Definitely take CAT. This is not a decision making criteria for taking CAT. Take CAT, see where you land. If you land in a great college and it's going to change your career, take it. If you're going to land at a modest college, that doesn't matter. That's not really pushing you, then dump it. But don't, uh, don't, don't take, it's not a CAT taking decision. Can 50 marks and mock be increased to 150? Don't worry, anything can happen. If you have not taken a single mock from now, you can start taking mocks, go from 30, 40, 50, all the way to 150, it can happen. How to utilize a day properly for CAT preparation? Pingas will get send you the schedule and you can do that. IP mat for indoor is said to have questions from CAT and IITs. Is that tough? The IP mat quant is tough. The IP mat bubble is not so tough. Doable exam, don't worry too much about everything you hear. Fine. Solving RCs every day or just read variety of articles? Read a variety of articles for sure. The, the actually attempting RCs part do twice or thrice a week, you're good to go. You don't need to solve three RCs per day or two RCs per day. I'm not able to focus for three hours straight. Do for one hour, do for one and a half, do for two. Hang in there. Don't let it go. Even if you're bored, stiff and scared, don't stop. It'll automatically go to three hours. Should I start preparation from second year of college? If you're in a three-year course, definitely. If you're in a four-year course also, definitely. Yeah. VRC is not improving. Read tons of stuff. Don't worry about scores and percentiles and marks and RC and para jumble. Read tons of stuff. VRC will improve automatically. Scoring around 100 in mocks, mocks 100 in mocks in June. It's a good place. Don't worry. I've got placed in LNT with four. Should I join? Join and prepare for CAT. It's not a choice. Should I join a job or prepare for CAT? I don't even understand the question. Join a job and prepare for CAT. Decent attempt in DLR. Three sets. Very good. Four. Brilliant. Where to ping? Put it on comments. One of us will reply to you. When to start taking mocks? Today. And since it is late, tomorrow. Uh, two IMs mocks in a two IM mocks are very good, but I would strongly recommend that you pick up mocks from at least two providers so that you get two two flavors. Where to ping? Please ping on the comment section on YouTube. One of us will reply. There is no DI and LR. What which section to attempt first? DI or LR? It is one thing. You can't even categorize. Read the puzzle. If it makes sense, if it is meaningful, carry on and solve it. Wonderful guys, it was lovely talking. I'm gonna sign off now. I'm gonna stop um, answering to questions. Um, uh, it's a lovely section to prepare for. Don't amp up the stress level for DILR. It is very doable. It is simple, it is, uh, it is delicious. Think of it as fun puzzle solving. Don't let the, the difficulty puzzle level get to you. Fine. Wonderful guys, best wishes. Have wonderful fun preparing. All the best for CAT and all the best for uh, the IP mat folks who have also chimed in.